Hey, you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So I'm going to be like all over the place in this video. I'm apologizing now. I just have so many thoughts going through my head as I sit here and my Tory leggings that I bought maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago that I've only worn twice. Twice is literally ripping between my thighs as I speak. I am so disappointed in Tori, you guys. That's why I was tripping so bad on Facebook. Um, <laughs> when I is it pronounced Maximo? No, 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 no. Me, me, whatever he is, the one that I was talking about that sell leggings on Target's website, those were like equal to Tori leggings. But the thing is, is like I get Tori leggings, you know, and sometimes, and they like. As I'm pulling them up the first time I'm wearing them, uh, my fingers are going through the leggings. Like these particular leggings I've worn twice. I go to the bathroom now, as y'all know. They have holes all over these leggings. So it was a hole, a tiny hole in the leggings in the um, on the seam when I put them on this morning. And at this point, my whole thigh is out right now. Literally, literally. <laughs> I need y'all to see this. Alrighty. So anyway, hey you guys. So I wanted to pop in and I wanted to talk about just me, what's going on with my health, my um I, I think it's called biometric um test so i went in um so that they can take my blood so they they can ch check on my blood pressure my pancreas my cholesterol just all those great things i went in because i'm having issues with pooping now let's go ahead and i guess let's look at my results first before we go into the poop you guys are more than welcome to pause the video so y'all can read the paragraphs or if you're interested. So basically, like, for example, the cholesterol, um, it just tells you my results and it tells you um, why it's good for your cholesterol to be in good levels, etc., etc. So they tested my, um, to make sure I didn't have diabetes, high blood pressure, etc., etc. So many people want to tell me that I, I've had diabetes, unset diabetes, high blood pressure etc etc because of the um darkness and like this part of my neck here first and foremost i have addressed this over the years you guys i've been doing youtube on a weight loss journey like seven eight years now um i think i've been on youtube for like 10 years but well nine years but anyway the only way that i can explain like you know little darkness in different folds of my skin is um well first and foremost my neck isn't as dark as <laughs> some people always messaging me making it seem you guys have to know that the camera is up and it casts a shadow you guys see that it casts a shadow okay so y'all have to know that my neck is not that dark as it looks when i'm like this okay y'all are above okay but it is a shade darker here and in different folds of my body. Different folds of my body that were scratched out and now has shrunken. And the only conclusion that I can that I can come to, the reason certain parts of my body is darker than the rest of my body, <laughs> um, is that it was damaged from the skin. That's the only thing that I can think of. Like my skin is damaged <laughs> from all of the scratching. Again, you guys have to know I was almost 500 pounds and there's going to be damage damage that I can't get rid of. Even after any surgery, um, lipo, um, tummy tuck, etc., etc., I'm still going to have scratch marks. I'm still going to have discoloration. You know what I'm saying? That's not going going to go anywhere. If I, if I had diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever, you guys better believe that I oh, <laughs> that's 
this one thing. You guys better believe that I would share that with you now. So when I went into this particular office, I was running in and um, I had just got out of a meeting and I had missed this appointment the day before because of a meeting. And I was just like, I was late. I was like 15 minutes late, but she took me anyway. And I was tired. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. She's just, the first thing she did was take my blood pressure. And I feel like she should have waited until the end of the exam, but the exam really isn't that long, you know? So all they're doing is taking my blood pressure, taking blood. She did like one or two other things or whatever, and that was it. But I feel like she should have took my blood pressure after, um, you know, I calmed down and all that other stuff. But she was just like, you know, um, you did just run in here. That's the reason why your blood pressure seems a little high. But I'm, I'm just going to note that um, in the record. But since then, I went into my um, OBGYN and she tested my blood pressure and it was perfectly fine. So that's the reason it's showing up there. And I said that to say again, to reiterate, if I had any type of any medical anything you guys better believe y'all will be some of the first to know I will be coming up here like ah fix me fix me y'all know this you know what I'm saying y'all are my y'all are where it's at you know what I'm saying when it come down to getting information that I need but I research stuff all the time but of course I miss stuff so that's when I turn to you guys and post up a video I'm on Facebook like help me help me you know what I'm saying so anyway I said all that to say that the only problem I'm having is with my anus okay so I've been back from Boston Um, for, I want to say two months now, a little, two months now, I want to say, yeah. So you guys know that, um, well, some of you guys know if y'all was paying attention, um, you guys probably know that it came a point where I was just trying to maintain my weight loss. Like I was just trying to maintain it. I was just happy that I wasn't gaining. Like I never... I guess because I really never, I never really thought about it, but I never realized how much of an impact traveling has on your life and your weight gain and other things that can happen to you. Um, you guys know I told y'all I had a um, a stomach. It was like a bacteria infection. She might have didn't call it a bacteria infection. But it was an infection in my tummy. Basically, she told me it comes from doorknobs, bathrooms, things like that. She told me verbatim before I even told her I was traveling. She said this type of um, infection normally comes from people that try. <coughs> 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 She, she told me that this particular type of um, infection comes from, um, she said this particular type of infection is um, seen in people that travel a lot. And I was like, wow, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. You guys know that I've um, had tummy issues. So pretty much, y'all know what? Okay, so let's, again, I'm everywhere with this video. Okay, so let's start from when I was in Alabama. So... I thought that I started gaining weight when I got to Tennessee. That's what I've been saying. I've been telling everybody, man, Tennessee for the birds. I started gaining weight when I got to Tennessee. That's what I was saying, right? <clears throat> but as I look back, that's not the case. I started gaining weight when I was in Alabama. So... I never talked about this, but it was embarrassing because it was embarrassing at the time. And then I kind of forgot about it. But now that it's whatever and I'm still having this issue, I guess we can talk about it. Okay, so this is going to be an overshare, you guys. So before I left Alabama, I want to say two, three months before I left Alabama, I was dealing with um, severe constipation. You know what I'm saying? And the scale was going up a little bit, but I just 
I just figured it was because I wasn't pooping, not necessarily that I was also gaining. So anyway, I went to the emergency room because I was severely constipated. Like, here's my anus. And it felt, and here's a pile of poop. And it felt like it was just right here. It was just right there. And my anus was like open. It wouldn't, it was like open protruding out. Because I stuck my hand back there and felt it. And it was just like, it was protruding out. So I knew it was something right there. You know, poop, of course. But I knew it was something right there. So, if you've ever been severely constipated, Okay, so if you've never been severely constipated or have, like, your anus protruding outward because of that, I can't really explain it to you. All I can say is that you can't really sit down, or if you are sitting down, you're, like, leaning to the side to take weight off, weight off of it. Um, when I Basically, when I went to the emergency room, I drove like to the side like this and my mom thought I was pregnant because of course down that I was hurting you know what I'm saying I was I was hurting you know what I'm saying don't ask me about okay I was hurt okay I was hurting so I was um when we so I was standing up in the emergency room and then my mom came of course you tell your mom everything so my mom came she thought I was pregnant all that other stuff I was probably in the emergency room about an hour before they called me. When I tell you I was shaking, okay, it wasn't that I was I was in pain. Like my anus hurt. It was uncomfortable. My stomach was uncomfortable and all that. But it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm dying in pain. It wasn't even that. It's just that the reaction that my body got from my anus not working right. It was like, I know it's not just the anus. I'm just going with that. Okay. I know it's different points up there. Yeah, I'll just go with that. <laughs> so anyway, I was standing in the hospital. From the time I was standing in the hospital, well, from the time it happened, because initially what happened was I went to the bathroom to use it. It got stuck. It wouldn't come out. I tried everything I could think of. And I just had to go to the emergency room. So, I see why the couple of people that I did say that is laugh. Because it's kind of funny after you think about it. So, anyway. From the time that I got in the car until the time that I laid on the hospital bed. My anus made me shiver. I was shivering. I was sweating. It was like a cold sweat. And it was like... I, you know how you're so cold that you can't just, that's how I was. I was shivering. It was like a cold sweat and my mom just got my hand like, it's all right, baby. Like I was in labor, y'all. It was hilarious now that I think about it. At the time, it wasn't funny, but it was hilarious because I really do think she thought I was in labor. And so anyway, um, they came, long story short, this is a long story, not about Okay, sorry you guys. I'm not sure why I was at my phone rung and it distracted me. So, um, I know I didn't say this part, so this is where we're going to start. Um, so when I got back to the room or whatever, I told them that I was constipated or whatever. Again, my mom still didn't believe, so they x-rayed me. They x-rayed my tummy area. And he came back with the results. <laughs> and he told me, he had his hand like this. He was like, you have, <laughs> I should have asked him for them x-rays. Is that even possible? So anyway, he said, you have a blockage this big. That is the reason why your body is reacting the way that it is. And so anyway, I'm laying on my side. So long story short. At the end, I'm trying to do a long story short. <laughs> so, long story short, the nurse came in with a um a enema that they stick up in your butt. So it's like this jug, all this other stuff. She stuck the tube in my butt. She was like, "You have to hold it in for." I don't even remember. It, it had 
lasted me like about 10 to 20 minutes because I had to hold it in. So anyway, she was like, you have to hold it in so that it can, you know, break up the stuff or whatever. And I was like, okay. So it's really hard, you guys, when you're already shivering and your body isn't doing what you want it to do. It's really hard to clench your butt cheeks together and suck in so that you don't poop. And it's like, you know, the stuff is right there. So it felt like I had to poop. Like, I am clenching. And I gave up after about five minutes. Whatever it was, I don't remember the time. I want to say it was about five minutes. But whatever it was the required time, I only did half of that time. Okay? Okay. So... I went to the bathroom and nothing happened, you guys. I was devastated. Came back out. The nurse was like, we're going to try it again. It doesn't happen this time. We're going to have to send you home with them some some um, enemas to um, take, um, to take um, um, orally. And I was like, no, no, I can't live like this. I can't live like this, okay? So, so we went in again oh and the first time I didn't even allow her to put it all up that I was just like I can't take anymore because it makes it feel full down there so anyway when she did it again I just kept thinking about having to go home feeling like this and she was like do you want me to stop you want me to keep going she was just you know doing her thing I was like keep going keep going so she was just back there pouring it up pouring it up pouring it up I'm like keep going keep going Oh, again, my mom ain't believe it. <laughs> so, I held it in and I held it in for the max time that I, I was supposed to, okay? So, this time, I might have even held it in a couple of minutes longer because, I again, I'm just reminding myself that I don't want to go home feeling like this. So, that last time, I went to the bathroom and I was sitting there and I was just like, please. You know, I was just, please, I was, ag I was in agony, okay? So it came out. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I felt like a new woman. <gasps> so then, I came out the bathroom. And it was like three people. It was so funny, y'all. Again, it wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. It was like three people, two nurses and a doctor. Um, so it was one young lady and two men. And it was like, they just wait for me to open the bathroom door. <laughs> and then when I opened it, they was just looking at me. And I was like, I went. And they was like, yeah. They was like cheering. They were like, ah! They was just like, yeah. I don't think, I think I forgot this story because I don't think I ever was going to tell y'all this story, to be honest. So anyway, that happened. Okay? That happened. And so I went and then they, they just told me to make sure that I get plenty of veggies and all that other stuff, which didn't make sense to me because I was on a journey. And that, that that's the thing about this. So moving on from that, the thing about this is that I've, I've been dealing with constipation ever since that moment. I've been thinking back, like, when did all of this start? Ever since that moment, I've been dealing with constipation. And I don't really know what exactly changed around that time because after that I had another constipation problem it was kind of similar but I didn't have to go to the bathroom and since then I've been having constipation problems um pretty much it was like constipated and then I had it under control I even had a product that still works, but I stopped taking it because you guys know I don't want to be dependent on any type of um, a supplement. So it works. I did a review about it. I didn't post it because I figured you guys wouldn't be interested in it, so I didn't post it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I was taking that, and it, it helped me go. I think that... Because, again, I'm trying to think back to when all this started. I think it was an accumulation of drinking more alcohol on a regular, um, not eating enough 
not eating enough fiber. Those are the three things that I've concluded from this. I can't really think of anything else because you guys know I went in for um, a couple of exams. The doctor didn't see anything. Um, so, again, I went from constipated, not constipated, to now constipated. I was not constipated only for a couple of months because, I, you know, I was... I stopped taking it. So I was not constipated only for a little while. And I thought the situation was resolved, but it's not. Um, you guys, again, you have to think about it this way. Like, I I can literally, it's so easy for me to lose weight. When it come down to, not my body, but when it come down to my mental and my heart. If I wanted to do a five-day fast right now, that would be nothing to me. It would be, of course, I would get hungry. I would go through all things that a lot of people would go through, but I wouldn't break because I, I'd be so motivated, you guys, and I'd be starting these different plans. Like, I'm on a plan right now, and I'm not going to tell you guys about it. Yeah, I'm going to do a video weeks and weeks from now because I want to see if it's going to work. But anyway, um, I food is like nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I can lose the weight, especially when it comes down to mental. Because again, when I tell myself I'm not gonna eat or I'm going to restrict my carbs or I'm gonna or I'm gonna start something new or I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Nine times out of ten, I stick with it. So when I originally got back from Boston, I lost 15 pounds like that. And I feel like that had a lot to do with like my sodium and all of that. I cut out sodium like crazy. Because when you're on the road, man, you get you you eat a lot of processed foods. It can be low carbs, it can be low calves, but it it be processed. It has a lot of sodium in it. It's it's very hard unless at some rooms I had a full kitchen. Unless you have a full kitchen, it's just very hard to live on the road and eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very difficult. Um, but it's possible. It's possible. You know what I'm saying? It's possible. But even with eating healthy, I know I was eating a lot of soda. So I feel like that's where a lot of that 15 pounds came from. You know what I'm saying? But since then, I haven't went up or down with my weight loss. Literally, you guys, I did a 48-hour water fast, okay? <sighs> did not lose a pound. Not a pound. And I can do, I can do three-day water fast, two-day water fast, three, two to three-day water fast will give me eight to 12 pounds within those three days without a problem. You know what I'm saying? With doing that water fast, I really didn't go to the bath. I peed, but I really didn't poop a lot or anything. Normally a water fast just cleanses me and all that great stuff. I'm just really not sure what's going on with my body. Again, I went in for those exams. I've already had several exams. So I'm gonna go back to the original doctor that I went to and um, I, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll put the video at, at the end, but it'll be up there just in case you want to know about my health and all of that. We have another video. We went into more details about that. We're not doing this. This video is going to be long enough. So I'm going to go back to that same doctor and explain to him that I eat fiber. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm still not pooping. You guys, like I said before, can you imagine eating two to three meals a day? And not pooping for three to four days like just nothing is happening. Nothing. And you, it's miserable. That third day is absolutely miserable. You guys, I have tried every fiber that I can think of when it comes down to supplements. And honestly, the only thing that gives me a little bit of bowel movement is in my food nowadays. Like, if I make sure that all my food is packed full of fiber, then I will go to the bathroom, but it still doesn't feel, you know, like, feel? Like, it doesn't feel like I went enough. You know what I'm saying? So, it's obviously a problem. And I've been over here just tinkering with my body and tinkering with the ghoul and just trying to figure it out. Because at the end of the day, I feel like 
the doctor is literally going to tell me eat more fiber, drink more water, exercise more. Like, I feel like I'm going to sit here and spend a thousand dollars for the doctor to tell me that, you know? So it's like, I'm trying, like I'm doing research and I'm trying to figure out what, you know, what could be causing this. Maybe it's the food, maybe it's something. Um, I don't really drink, um, I would say on an average now, I drink wine maybe once a week when i be like let's turn up on that friday that's the only day that i'm drinking you know what i'm saying and i like red wines dry red wines those are my favorites i feel like they bring the flavor out of my food um and so yeah i don't i don't really know what's causing the problem but i, I feel like i'm going to play around with my diet and all that for the next couple of weeks and then if nothing changes then i'm gonna go back to the doctor because at the end of the day this is stunting my growth when it comes down to my weight loss and when it comes down to my weight loss journey like nothing's happening i work out an hour and 15 minutes every single day on top of doing all that walking like i um since i've been on this journey not all the time every single stop but um when i'm at the store when i'm going to the store and things like that i try to I try to park far back. I always go up the stairs at work when I'm going. Uh, when I'm um, going to work, it's like three um, flights of stairs. You have to go up. Well, really and truly, it's six because you're going at one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like I go up the stairs. I'm walking all day. Exercising is not a problem. At minimum, at minimum, I drink 92 ounces of water a day. That's at the minimum every single day so i am on my fitness pal you guys i just prefer not to share because my diet can be a little bit quonky wonky and it's always been that way and sometimes i can eat one meal a day and i'm fine and then sometimes i eat three meals in a day and it's like back when i was on my fitness pal and i was sharing it with um a lot of people so many people was judging saying you're not eating enough you're eating too much you need to do this you need to do that so you know i don't really um i love advice i love me some advice you guys but I don't really like that, you know, telling me what I should and shouldn't do when it comes down to my journey in, in that sense. So it's like if I'm if what I'm doing is working and I'm healthy and all that great stuff, then you know it is what it is. I don't I don't really like people to um to tear my journey apart. That's why I don't really share my fitness pal. Um so yeah, as of now. I've drunk 80 ounces of water. Um, it is 6 o'clock. I would normally be about 16 more ounces in, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to drink um, 32 more ounces of water. That's at minimum before I go to sleep. But I'm probably going to get in about 48 more ounces of water before I go to sleep. So I have the water down. I have the exercise down. The only thing that I could be lacking now is the fiber. And I want to say on average now I get about 20 20 grams of fiber so i'm gonna take that up to 30 that's a lot of fiber trying to get it in food that's crazy and like i said i've never had to do this before at my heaviest and that was probably because i was eating every goddamn thing but i've even on my journey throughout my journey like my sea lemon husk is not really working now it's not you know what i'm saying like nothing's working sea lemon husk fiber um, the fiber powder, um, let me see, sea lemon husk fiber powder, um, sea lemon husk peels, um, um, sea lemon husk peels, um, sh um, apple cider vinegar, like all these things are supposed to be natural things that's supposed to help, you know what I'm saying, and they're not. You know, they're not. It's not doing what I want it to do at this point on my journey. So, so that's pretty much where I, where I'm at on my journey right now. I really have to figure out a meal plan that's going to help my body process the food because having food sit on, on my stomach and in my body for three or four days is crazy. It's crazy. And I don't ever want to be dependent on laxatives and things like that. I do understand that we put so many things in our body, so many foreign things, so many chemicals in our foods we put in our bodies. And that has a reaction 
You know what I'm saying? Our body reacts to that stuff and not in a good way, you know? So I just have to figure out a diet that's going to help me, you know, lose some of this weight. Um, and, you know, I, I thought about just losing these pounds by myself, you know, but I feel like my, my videos are beneficial. I do, I do. You know, I don't really get discouraged too tough on when it comes down to YouTube viewers shit like some people. Yeah, I think my videos are beneficial. Um, you know, with the weight loss community or with any of these communities, um, but especially with the weight loss community, people like instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? Like the some of the most viewed videos on YouTube when it comes down to weight loss journeys is where people have lost a large amount of weight in a small amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Or where people have lost weight and they've only shown you guys the results where they post like, I've lost 20 pounds in three months. Those are some of the most popular weight loss videos on YouTube. People don't really like to go through the process with you. You know what I'm saying? People really like instant gratification you know what i'm saying and i get that so like viewership and all of that doesn't bother me that would not be the reason so and i brought this up because someone asked me the other day um am i going to um continue with youtube trying to lose the weight that i gain and the answer is yes as long as i feel like it's helpful like viewership i told you guys a long time ago if five people watch my videos and they're telling me that it's helpful that's all that matter um that's all that matters so as long as i know that my videos are continuing to help you guys that's all that matters i'm not going to lie sometimes it does get a little bit you know frustrating for a thousand people to watch your videos and no one says anything in the comment section like did you like it did it was it helpful Do, are you gonna try it like that can be a little bit discouraging because you feel like um that what you're saying and what you're doing is not beneficial you know what i'm saying so feedback is always helpful but yeah i'm gonna as long as i feel like my videos are helping i'm gonna post and you know the fact that youtube is only showing you know big stars and big youtubers that can make them the most money you know the other day i saw someone that had 500 thousand subscribers and they only get about two to three thousand uh wait a minute did i say five hundred thousand yeah five hundred thousand if i didn't say that um five hundred thousand subscriber and they only get about two to three thousand views per video and i was like wow you know youtube is really messing with a lot of people and i told y'all a long time ago i cannot depend on youtube to be my main source of income because at any moment they could just wipe it away you know what i'm saying i just i just can't do that but i said all that to say that for anyone that was concerned about like me going through this part of my journey with you guys i will continue to as long as you guys let me know that it's helpful of course i'm always going to be on social media um sometimes i don't post necessarily on saturdays and sundays i know you guys that follow me for a long time y'all probably have noticed that probably because on saturday i have a hangover because i turned up not always a hangover i just be like sleep half of the day because, you know what I'm saying, I work really hard, you know what I'm saying, Monday through Friday. So, on Saturdays, I'm probably sleep. And then Sundays, I'm normally getting ready for the week. Meal prepping and doing all this other stuff. Running errands, setting appointments and doing all that other stuff. So, sometimes I don't post on them. But that's about it. Sometimes I do. A lot of times I do, matter of fact. But sometimes I don't. But that's, that's mostly... And that's the only thing. So anyway, follow me on social media and all that great stuff. If you um, be missing me and whatnot and I go a week, you know, a week and a half without posting, you know, just follow me on social media. You can always find me there. You can always find me there. So you guys, if you made it this far, give yourself a round of applause. Hey, hey, hey. So if you've made it this far, please enter my little giveaway. I will be giving one person a gift card to Chipotle, so make sure you enter. $15 Chipotle gift card. You know how much Chipotle is. My, my salad bowl will be like $7.99.
So, 850, 850. $10 too much. <laughs> I'm so silly, but for real, I want to, you know what I'm saying, send you a gift card. If you've made it this far, all you have to do, all you have to do is have made it this far. Um, so, to enter this free lunch giveaway <laughs> from Chipotle, all you have to do is do two things. I need your email address for one. So make sure you put your email address in the comments below. For two, you have to have been got this far. You have to have been got this far. I'm so country. <laughs> but of course, you see this. So of course, you got this far. So <laughs> you also have to inform me what is your favorite high fiber food or meal okay so all you have to do is put your email below okay and tell me what's your favorite high fiber food or meal that will automatically enter you into the giveaway and i just um i just realized that you guys might not see this for a day or two so i'm probably just gonna do a drawing on friday and um of course um announce it on facebook i will also add it to the description of this so of course you need to like my facebook as well so you would know um if you wanted to know um, but of course i will just email the person but i will of course let you guys know who won the giveaway in the description box and on facebook by friday so anyway Again, all you have to do, I like to reiterate reiterate you guys, y'all know that all you have to do is put your email address and your favorite high fiber food below to enter you into a free lunch from Chipotle. Y'all know that's my favorite spot. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to answer the questions below about fiber. Help your girl out outside of the giveaway. Help your girl out outside of the giveaway. I love y'all so very much and I'll see y'all soon.